I please introduce you all to the Tremo Scholars team? Hello. Hello. The aim of this short film is to raise awareness of the sustainability issues which surround Tremo campus and how the campus itself affects the local environment. I hope you all enjoy our film. <laughs> <laughs> There are currently 1,600 students based at Tremont campus and this is expected to rise to 2,150 by 2015. This substantial increase will have a massive effect on Tremont campus itself and the surrounding community. So the role of individuals in minimising the impact is crucial. We can get quite a lot of students in here but where they go after. It's getting now that this year, I think quite a lot of students have had trouble finding somewhere to live. One of the problems of being a vibrant town is that housing becomes a premium. Uh, and I think what we're finding now is a lot of the larger family houses are being converted to what we call HMOs, which are houses of multiple occupation. Due to the geography of Falmouth, um, there are so, only so many areas where people can live and the impact on housing in terms of from a student accommodation and the volume of people that have come into the area in a very short time is a real impact to the town. Housing situation, I don't know where my kids are going to Absolutely. go. Things like purpose-built student accommodation is the way to go. There is already one in the, in, in the area and they're looking at other possibilities for the future and that will be a, make a big difference. Moving on from that, some of the other issues we've had is about um, it's the aesthetics of the thing, if you like. So if you've got a student household, because you're only in there for you know, a few months, there, there are sometimes appearance issues. It's sometimes just simple things it's about putting curtains up or, or making sure the front garden is, is cut or the bins go out on the right day. The campus will recycle if you put things in the right place. In the last two years, the students here at this campus have really, really worked hard to, re to recycle. This campus was producing, as the residents alone, somewhere in the region of about between 200 and 300 bags of either recycled plastic and cardboard. And it's on the increase now. It's reaching nearly 500 bags per week. All this stuff that goes back to Corey's uh, recycling depot at Truro all gets recycled within the UK. Recycling, for example, culturally, I mean, you can argue about you know whether it's effective in terms of dealing with environmental questions, but it's actually very deeply embedded now culturally in the way in which we think about our relationship to the environment. I only put the rubbish out on the mornings of when the rubbish is collected. If it goes out a few days beforehand, one, it's illegal for a star, and secondly, with the seagulls as where we are living, you know, if they're pulled to bits, it's straight away is that what looks, looks negative to the town. And the more you do, the better it is for the campus. It's your campus, your recycling, use it, and we can make it and be great. Tremo campus does have a positive impact on the local economy and its growth. There are 28 bars and pubs alone in Falmouth and 15 taxi firms, which would probably not be able to sustain themselves if it wasn't for the students. I think it's had a good effect. I know there not everyone thinks the same, but I do. I think you know they're bringing a lot of uh, a lot of money to the economy. In term time, I mean. We are like rammed, really, really busy, constant stream of people. Whereas when, you know, out of term time, we actually have to have our hours cut. Without the student population, our busiest night would be dead. So, personally, I find it really difficult when people speak about how the students are ruining this town, when really, I think, without the students, this town would still be a tiny little fishing village with hardly any wealth in their economies. There's a lot of money flying from the university, which is pretty good. 
the students coming down from Tremo is probably during turn time can account for up to 10-15% of our business. I think a lot of the businesses in Falmouth, you look, walk down the high street um, and there are businesses that are even struggling now. If you took the students away completely, I think you'd create a huge problem. A lot of businesses would close down. I think Falmouth has insulated somewhat from the, the problems that other Cornish towns have got from an economy point of view because of the student pound. Not just through employment, not just through bringing the students here. Um, it's the whole infrastructure of the town that will change with the university being. It is always important to uh, be associated with uh, universities and campuses and places that are uh, the temples of the modern world and education plays a very important uh, role in spreading the message of healthy, sustainable and informed eating. A lot of responsibility uh, lies upon students' shoulders because they can start a fantastic food group, a good food tradition in the college and talk about it. Well, uh, students can get involved with sort of ordering local veg boxes. Um, there's a really good local producer um, at Kiskan um, who you can just uh, Google search and um, they'll deliver boxes to campus and they're pretty reasonable as well, which is a really good way to um, get local produce at a reasonable price. Stannery is really good at using local produce as much as they can be because obviously they've got to deliver a service. Um, but recently they've um, decided to only stock um, Marine Stewardship Council approved fish, which is brilliant. Um, and they also order a lot of their um, fruit and vegetables from West Coast, the West Country distributors. I strongly believe in the future and I think that Remo Campus is. is surely and certainly and slowly becoming a hub and example of sustainability in the whole of the country and I guess